I got broads in Atlanta, just to throw me in the family, credit cards and scammers, hitting the licks in the van, legacies. Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, K, and I'm here today with a challenge for you. Today, I'm doing the mac and cheese in the flaming hot mac and cheese Cheetos challenge. All right, so we got the regular bold and cheesy flavor, and then we also have the hot, the flaming hot Cheetos flavor. All right, y'all, let's check it out. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. So I fixed this hot Cheetos, and look at it. It's really pretty. You see that? Yo, that, it looks so cheesy. Look at this. It's still hot, too. So, um, I saw the big boxes as well, but I didn't know if I wanted to choose that. And I also used separate spoons when I mixed it up. Look at this, man. Look at how red that is. Yo. You see it? So, and then I also got me some... Some chicken. Fried chicken. You feel me? Fried chicken. And I got some sauce. That Ken's sauce. My grandma made that fried chicken. Ain't nothing like her fried chicken. I'm going to tell you that. I got me some uh, some sweet tea. Gonna need that. And I also have some water as well. So just in case things get a little bit hot. I could cool it down. Alright, so. Which one y'all think gonna win? Comment in comment underneath. Tell me which one y'all think gonna win. Alright. Alright, let's try the regular cheese first. And let's see how it goes. It smells good. It's hot though. Very cheesy. It looks like a really cheesy consistency. Let's see how it goes. Mm, not bad at all. Not bad at all. That ain't bad at all, y'all. Does it taste like hot Cheetos? Like the cheesy one? Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, it does taste like uh, hot Cheetos. Like the cheesy one. I can't complain. Can't complain. It's good. A lot better than what I thought it was going to be. Mm. So anyways, while I'm over here chomping, I'm going to tell you guys a story. So this morning, when I was on my way to work, this is just like a typical day, you know, same thing every day. I was stopped at the stoplight, like five, literally five minutes away from my job. And I saw an accident. Somebody uh, ran smack into somebody else as they were turning into the intersection. So this morning, after I uh, saw this accident, I didn't know if the other person hit them and ran, cause um, just the way that the accident was, it just seemed like they kept going. But I didn't. It was just it, everything just happened so quick. So I literally ran out of my car, called 911, told them the intersection, the street, and they asked me if anybody was okay. So I looked at the other car that was hit, that was still in the intersection. The front was really messed up. Like, I'm talking about oil was leaking down from the front under the car. And uh, when I was looking in the car, I couldn't see anybody because there was white, thick smoke in the in the car. So they was like, uh, they said, is everybody okay? And I was like, I don't know. 
So I ran to the car. I knocked on the window. Nobody said anything. So I opened the door. Luckily, the door was unlocked. Um, a lady was in the car. And she was stuck. She was stuck underneath the, um, the airbags. Like she couldn't get out. And so I was tugging her, tugging her. I couldn't get her out. So she, you know, started slinking down a little bit. So we finally got her. Excuse me. I finally got her out. She was kind of bewildered, which, you know, that's normal. I asked her, are you okay? Um, she was all right. She said her back was hurting. But other than that, she said she was okay. So after that, the police came. Um, another man came was asking questions. I moved my car out the way. And coincidentally, my manager that I do, uh, I pick up for third shift sometimes. He was there. And he had apparently dropped off a co-worker. And he was on his way back to his house. So. Wow. I was just like, wow. You know, and the lady, she thanked me. The officers asked for my name and uh, also the ambulance asked for my name too. But you know, one thing that really confused me about all of that, during all of this that was happening, nobody really stopped. Like people were looking, but they didn't get out their car, man, say anything. They just kept going about their own way in their own day and I thought to myself you know it could have been so easy for me to just be like okay well somebody got in an accident that's none of my business I'm almost late for work actually I was late for work I wasn't that late like maybe four or five minutes late because I had left early but I could have just been selfish you know I could have just been like that's their business I'm about to be late I could have just kept going and not even taking time to check on my fellow human being. When things things like that happen, nothing matters. You know what I'm saying? Like I was never, I was not thinking of, okay, well, who could this girl be? She could have been my worst enemy. It wouldn't have mattered to me if she was or not. Cause at the moment I just knew to react, you know? And to see if she was okay. Not just to ask a question, but to actually help, you know, be a helping hand. Anyway, that one is done. Done. And it was good. Really, really good. Alright, we trying the other one. Alright, this is the flaming Hot one. Now let's see what it do. Let's see what it do. Okay. It is hot. And it does have that hot Cheeto flavor. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. Ooh. Seem like all the water evaporated out of this one because it's hot. <laughs> Both of these was good. You feel me? They both was good. But yeah, like I said, we live in a time and an age now that people are more likely to take a selfie than to help people that are in need, that are in danger, in trouble. I feel like we need to change that, you know? Everybody wants to be nosy when drama is going down. They want to know what's going on. People are quick super quick to run to fights to see what's going ha what's happening who's winning the fight 
who said what to who, who's sleeping with who man, who slapped who. But when it comes to serious matters, like is somebody okay? People are so stand standoffish. People don't care. They just keep on going because they have other things to do. And I understand sometimes that you are pressed for time. And sometimes you can't stop. But if you can, what I'm saying is do it. Assess the, at least assess the, the, the um, assess the, the, what's going on. Ooh, this is hot. And I don't mean just the temperature. You know what would make this even better? If they actually put the hot, red hot Cheetos on top of this, like a little crumb. You know how they have like the soups with the like little crumbs on top or like the Parmesan crisp on top, but it's sealed. And then they have the soup in a packet in the inside. If they had this with like the red hot Cheetos on the top, like sealed up. And then you fix this first and then you put the little crumbs on top of it. Excuse me. It would actually, I feel like it would be, it would taste even better. Even if they did it for the cheese one too. That would be awesome. This is, this is good though. Anyways, off that subject, I used to love Hot Cheetos as a kid. I still do love it. I never really liked the cheese Hot Cheetos. I like the, oh, you know what? They also had the jalapeno cheese Hot Cheetos macaroni and cheese like this. I didn't pick that one up. I only got this one in the uh, regular cheese. But I might try that one later. You guys comment in the comment section and tell me if you want me to try that one too. But I always used to eat hot Cheetos as a kid. I remember me and my friend, we would always go to uh, hang out and eat together. We'd have hot Cheetos and gummy bears. And the gummy bears that are like octopus, not gummy bears, but like octopus. Octopus gummy worms from Charlie. I love those, man. Those are really good. Alright. That's done. So, I said all that to say that was really good. This is the best sauce ever. Really. Mm. My grandma is the best cook in the world. I really love my grandma. All right, y'all. Oh, okay. Almost forgot. This chicken almost for made me forget. So out of both of those, I like the cheese one better than the hot cheese one. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm out. I'm about to finish my chicken. I would eat it on, on. I would continue to eat, but my laptop is about to die. So next time, see you later. Peace.